What's up you guys, Ethers Tarot Readings here, coming to you with a pick a card, hopeful as well with you guys, and hopefully you are in good spirits. Today's title is, What Attracted Them to You? So we have three pals, Tom Stamp is going to be in the description box and message box. So for pal one, we have this deck, for pal two, you have this deck, for pal three, you have this deck. If you want crystals, I'll give you the amethyst for power one. It's a raw amethyst. For power two, I'll give you the green aventurine. It's raw as well. And then for power three, I'll give you the red jasper. It's raw as well. One, two, three. Shout out to you guys, to my subscribers. No, oh, what's popping with you guys? And you, if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. And I'll see you in pile one. Okay, pile one. If you pick this deck or if you pick this amethyst, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Today's title is What Attracted Them to You? Take what apply, leaves the rest. Some of you guys probably don't want to hear what's going to come out, so you should be open and be willing to be, um, you should be willing to hear what's going to come out, because this, the energy that came out is, it's fitting for what goes on nowadays, but it's quite weird. Um, I'm going to pull out other oracles, and I'm going to use your tarot deck as well, so I will try to redirect the energy, because it's not the best right now. So being that the time um, stamp stopped at 111, I'm going to give everybody in this reading this angel number. It says intuition, moderation, patience, flow, clarity, joy, movement, self-realization, taking action, unattentional, and unconditional love. It says time to implement long-cherished ideas. You are on the right track towards your dreams, visions, a reality. It says dreams and visions, a reality. The people and circumstances and resources are being sent your way. Happiness and new opportunities are at hand. Trust the process. So you are on the right track towards your dreams and your vision. And it's close to being a reality. For some of you, you can actually see the... I'm going to leave it out for the other pals. You can see the progress in whatever you're doing. So just be open. Use your intuition. Always use your intuition and use your intuition when it comes to this reading. It's not going to go for everybody, so take what apply and leave the rest. Now, the first card that came out was organize, organize, your, organize the mind, and then it has restless energy. So it seems for some of you guys, being that the crone is here, you guys are somebody that is very knowledgeable. Seems like you have a lot of knowledge. And if you feel like you don't have knowledge, well... Um, some of you guys are going to have to start looking in with yourself because if a person see you for something and you don't see yourself for it, that's a, like an identity crisis in a way. So this person or these people that you were, was attracted to you, they was attracted to you because of your wisdom. You are somebody that is an old soul. You have a lot of insight and a lot of information to give on to people and to help people. Some of you could be mentors. Some of you could be counselors. Some of you could be in a healthcare or in the healthcare arts. No, what I'm talking about, healthcare arts. Health, you could be anywhere in the healthcare. Anywhere, because it's so wide and vast across the board where you have so many different jobs. But your, your mind is steady. These people come to you because they seem like they don't have steady energy. This is the type of people that is caught in drama, caught in toxicity, caught in not living really in the light. They kind of live in the um in the dark. Again, you're somebody with wisdom. So they could unknowingly come to you or knowingly come to you for this. Because some people will see you and see that you're all beautiful, you're attractive, you're fiery, you look good, you smell good. You're somebody that's passionate. They think they're coming to you for that, but it's not. They're being lured into your energy for healing because it seems like you guys are healers with these two cards that just came out. Um... These people, the people that you attract need to have restless energy. They need somewhere to, to what would I say, direct their energy, like a passion, a craft, a, a career. They need something to 
put their energy into. It's like they these people have like anxiety or they walk around anxiety ridden. When I looked up, it was 505. So these people have conflict in their life. They need to change. These people have egos that's bigger than they did. I just got for some of them. These people like to be in chaos. These, some of these people live in chaos. They grow in chaos. But you're a person that have... Some of you are beautiful. Some of you have that grounded energy, that life force energy, that one energy. Some of you could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Leo. You could be any fire sign. You could be a Scorpio as well. Yeah, but this is why you attract these people. It says relationship as well. So some of them, again, like I said, they're drawn to you thinking it's like a relationship, but it's really healing that they're looking for. And this is on a subconscious level. This is not on a conscious level. It says relationships, business partners, office love affairs, communication with coworkers, highlight is being highlighted now. Make choices with extreme care. So some of these people could be at your job. Some of these people could be where you um, party at. But right now, is you need to be using your intuition and paying attention to anybody that's coming into your life right now. People that you're attracting into your life because there's a lot of shape shifting and a lot of shifting going on with the planetary alignments. And it's a lot going on out there. It says drama. And this is a second card that has workplace um, energy on it. It says drama. Be aware of troublemakers and your workplace. The job that you want have too much upheaval to bear. Keep emotions and gossip in check. So if this is your situation and you resonating with this, just be more mindful of your energy. And if you could, stay away from these people because these people are people who are haunted. They're haunted with like demons on them that's controlling them. And these people are not people. They are people that's not happy in life. Some of you come across as happy. You like, uh, you like to have a good time. Some of you like to drink wine, go out, have a little dance. Just let your hair down. These people don't like that. These people are not happy, so they not want, they don't want you happy. Some of you guys could be born on the 16th of any month or the 27th of any month. You could be born in July as well, July 27th or September 16th in particular. These people look at you like a jackpot, and some of these people don't have a car or they have cars been repoed. They have issues. They need money, and this came out with jackpot. So some of these people, if it's a relationship, they see that you will have stability. They see that you are somebody that can actually give them a foot up in a relationship. They could kind of ride your coattail a bit. Yeah, so they think that you are somebody who come from money. If you don't come from money, you have a great career. Some of you could have recently had a lawsuit or recently won an inheritance. These people want you for your money. They want you for your energy. Some of them, they're energy vampires and they want to steal your energy. They want to leave you with their lack energy and steal your good old energy. Out here came fake smiles and then happiness haters. So if some of you are in a happy relationship, they don't like that. They are drawn to you to break up your happiness, to break up your relationship, as crazy as it sounds. These people are people who don't have relationships that they are happy in. Naturally romantic, naturally loving, unconditional love, caring love. This is a person you can see they stance. This person have ego and they're a false person. It's a person that walks around with a mask. This person have to be a person that have to pretend. They can't be their real self and get love the way you get love. So these people want to be you and vary. They really want to be you. But this is why they drawn to you. They drawn to your... To your Good energy. Some of you have energy where it's just people feel at home with you when they're in your energy. Some of you are very naturally romantic and girly and feminine and like a divine energy. And they just want to bask in your energy. Take what apply and leave the rest. But somebody's definitely hating on your relationships. Some of them are drawing in because you are very peaceful. Again, you are somebody that like to have a vibe. Say, for instance, if you... Go to parties by yourself. Some of you could be popular loners or you like to be by yourself. These people don't like that. They don't like the fact that you ignore people. You don't pay attention to people. Some of you are in your, like, in your own world. It's like you just lock everybody out. You don't pay attention to anybody's toxicity. You just stay in your bubble. 
you like to ride the wave of any toxicity. If you're stuck in a toxic situation, you're just going to ride the wave. And when it's over, it's over. These people are people who are stuck in this energy. They're stuck in this wave. There's no ride in it. They live in it. It says firestorm. So somebody really could be a fire sign here. It says karma, dharma, endings, loss, mental breakdowns, and then they have romance. Some of them are attracted to you to break you down, to take your confidence away from you, take your loving spirit away from you, take your happy-go-lucky spirit from you. They don't want you happy. They want to come in and love bomb you and then cause a fire, a firestorm in your life. Some of these people are really haunted. They have nothing else to do with themselves, and it's sad. Clarify, organize the mind. Why power one attracted these people to them? Or why they attracted to power one? Well, you have either the eight of wands in the upright and the ace of cups in a reverse. Or you have the ace of cups in the upright in a Eight of Wands in a reverse, the way it fell. I don't know how it came out. But being that, I'll take it this way. I'll read it both ways. The reason why you um, attracted these people with um, organized mind, some of these people fly at the seat of their pants. These people are impulsive. They're tyrannical. These people are immature. Some of them just have that spirit where they just want to cause chaos wherever they go because they are in chaos. Some of them, they want to bring chaos to you and they want to end any relationship you have. You see the Ace of Cups is in reverse. These people want to do this with speed. But some of these people are people who's coming from a relationship where they're not loved, where they're not um, valued, where they're not appreciated. So they want to come into your life and, and poke holes into your, um, into your happiness. Like I said, they're happiness haters. These people are fake. They smile. They wear masks. They just fake. Some of them are, again, in fake relationships and they wish that they can be in relationships like you guys if you're not in a relationship they wish that they can have people come to you well they wish they could have people come to them and treat them how they treat you it seems like people really love being in a relationship with you you some for you guys the nine of um cups didn't come out or pentacles but it's like you are ideal catch you the ideal. You're very romantic. You know how to be a feminine. You know how to bask in your feminine energy. You're not a feminine that's a, a has a masculine energy and want to be the man in a relationship. So they don't want to see that. They don't want to see you happy. These people are also people who have been traumatized in life. They don't want to see nobody happy. They'll see a person happy like, why are you happy? They'll see you walk into work. Just minus the fake smile. Say, for instance, this is you. You walking into work. You happy. It's first thing in the morning. Why you look so good? Why you look so pleasant? Why you so happy? Meanwhile, they are miserable as fuck. Watching everybody who's coming in with their ego. Some of these people could be very short. So they have that short man, that Napoleon complex. But back to this. Um, yeah, these people missed opportunities. They miss love opportunities or the love that they have. They love dis distraught. Like when I say distraught. They love made them hurt. They they love made them feel insecure. The love they was in did not build them up. It, it wasn't a good opportunity. These people are in karmic relationships. There's no blessings in their relationships. They females that they're with, their partner they with don't inspire them. It could be a man as well. It, it, there's no inspiration. This man, whoever this happiness hater is, this man with this masculine energy, could be a female with masculine energy. They're not happy. They don't have nobody to love them. They don't have no one to make them feel good. This person have mommy and daddy issues. And yeah, this is why with the eight of wands, these people are tyrannical type of people. Again, they have no love in their life. They don't even love themselves. These are people that are empty vessels. You see here where there's holes in them. You can't pour love into these people because they're empty vessels. As you pour love into it, it leaks right out of their ass. But this is why you attract them to you because you are somebody that have that good old, good old empress energy, that divine energy. And yeah, you should take um, heed to this and keep some of these people out of your energy. Let's see. Whoa, that popped right out. It says the streets raise me. So like I said, Sila, like I said, these people are toxic. You guys come from different worlds, it seems like. If, even if y'all in the same culture, y'all come from different worlds. Clarify this happiness hater and the streets raise me because the streets raise this happiness hater. I don't know the difference between just sex and something that is real. So I, so I try. 
No. What is it says I don't know the difference between sex and something that is real. So don't try to play with me. You will lose me. These people know that you believe in yourself. You confident. You bet on yourself. You somebody that's not insecure. You're not somebody who's codependent. You're not somebody who who lacks self love. These people need to heal their inner child. These people like to go around and just have these karmic relationships, have sex all over the place, don't want to tie themselves down to nobody, and then they hate on other people who have happy relationships because they can't bond with people in a healthy way. This is why. I told you, this person is a strong fire sign. These people are strong fire signs. If they're not fire signs, they're moving in a fire sign energy, or they could be an air sign. Leo, I mean, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Clarify this, um... Relationship hater in the fake smiles. I didn't plan on meeting you, let alone falling for you. That card loves to come out. So again, this is why you attract them to you. They're attracted to your essence. They're attracted to your good old energy. They're attracted to your glow. They're attracted to your vibe. I don't know how to express my feelings. That's why I'm so aggressive. I tell you, these people have immature. They immature and they have, they've been traumatized when they was young. They've been, their parents traumatized them in a the household they raised in were raised in and the relationships that they were in traumatized, traumatized them. It says if you're not evolving, then you're not living for nothing in life. Stay the, they stay in the same. It says we have grown over here. So you're grown. You've outgrown this immature behavior, but this person haven't. Why power one attract these people or this person to them? Why they were attracted to them? It says they think sex equal love, immature, lustful. It said it twice. Somebody here initials begin with a D M B A P. I will give you names, just throwing names out here: Derek, Mario, Barry, Akeem, Patrick. If it's a female, Denise, Mary, Beatrice, Alice, Patricia. Those are just names I got. I said, it says this air sign is a hater with STDs. And you see what I said with that? It's a fire sign or air sign. It says false person on a demon time. And you see the eight on the top? That's karma. These people are trapped in karmic situations. So you're around karmic people. Clarify this firestorm and this romance. Why power one attracted these people? A person, however. They went through the dark night of the soul. So this person, again, were traumatized, and they went through the dark night of soul, but these are people who fight their dark night of soul, because when you go through the dark night of soul, you come out the, on the other side healed, or healed more than, you know, you were initially. You become more mature, you start looking at things that you do in an unhealthy way, like this energy, they will see, oh, I, I need to change this, this needs to change. These people are people are personated too. They want to be you. They want to act like you. They want to be like you. And these people in real life feel like shit. They feel like shit and you feel like this. So, of course, it's like a moth to a flame. You're just drawing their asses in. These people have mental dis um, issues as well. They have mental issues, these people. Okay, last messages here. Clarify relationship. Why they attracted to pal number one. says you would make an excellent mother or father told you somebody caring somebody nurturing somebody loving somebody that can love somebody because you've loved yourself you love yourself you're apologetic which means you're mature you somebody if you in a wrong you can apologize these people they don't apologize they hold on to egos they hold on to lies they create lies a person who can't apologize is a narcissist whether people want to hear it or not it's a it's a trait that they have it says very healthy ego you have a very healthy ego. Miss Parker, Miss Parker, can I talk to you? If you guys know where that came from. Um, I won't say put a message on. Uh, don't leave a message. Well, if you want to leave a message, you could leave a message. But this comes from a movie. Everybody in community like you. You somebody that is loving, caring, somebody that look good. You smell good. You take care of your home. You take care of yourself. This is why they're attracted to you. Some of you are late bloomer. Some of you, as you get older, you look better. You like age with fine wine. I'm feeling your swag. So, I'm feeling your swag is self-explanatory. You are whole vibes. Look, this is like basically I'm feeling your swag. So, if you've gotten something from this, like, and subscribe. I'm going off the pal too. Till next time in Tarotland.
Power One, if you're still here, just got to download. The reason why you attract these people is because they need to be saved. They want you to save them, basically. They want you to take care of them. They want you to nurture them. They want you to be their mommy, knowingly or unknowingly. Like you know, subscribe. Till next time. Okay, Power Two, if you pick the green adventurine, or if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully, you could get some insight in your situation, or hopefully this is useful to you. Shout out to you guys who's popping to my subscribers. What's going on with you guys? If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So, take what apply and leave the rest. Title today is What Attracted Them to You. So, we're going to jump right in. This card came out in Power 1 in the same position. So, if you haven't gone to Power 1, go over to Power 1. I'm not going to bring this um, energy from power one over here to power two because I don't like doing that. I don't like when that happens. So what I will tell you, I will, I will give you different insight. I'm getting different insight from this reading with this card. So if you want to go to power one, go to power one because it came out again in the same position. So the first came out is self reward. So with this self reward card, some of you could be Indian, but you are somebody that is, um, you someone that has self-love you with the self-reward you someone that have self-love you are someone that is uh, a person that is how can i say no you are somebody that loves yourself you're a happy-go-lucky person you're a person that radiates a good energy you're somebody that's very grounded you're somebody that is very abundant when people see you, they see abundance. They see you as a wise person. They see you as a carefree person, a happy person. You could be somebody who smile a lot. So you just draw in people with your good energy. You look like somebody that would be good with businesses, with your grounded energy. Some of you, they know that you are very spiritual and you can help them spiritually. You have spiritual knowledge. Hold on for a second. Sorry for that. Some of these people also see, they must know you, or again, with your grounded, abundant energy, they see that you are somebody who um, who can help them, who believe in themselves, who've conquered a lot of things in life. So being that you have conquered things, they feel like you can help them conquer things that they need help with. You can awaken them. You can awaken them. Now with this restless energy, why you draw people in, you guys are very sexy. You're a good vibe. So people see you and just like those downloads that I got earlier is it, they kind of disappeared. Some of you are very romantic. They see you and you you just your energy. All I can say with this card is your energy. But power one got all of the information. It's like my brain just shut down when it came out. All of a sudden, all the, all the downloads disappear. If they come back, I'll say it. But these people are people who are fed up in life. These are people who are overwhelmed in life. With this energy that you could help them and you've conquered a lot of things and you somebody that seemed grounded and happy and stable and very wise. These people are fed up in life. So these people are drawn to you for help. These people could be drawn to you like I was telling Power One, knowingly or unknowingly. It's like your energy pulled them in for healing. And some of them think that they want to be in a love relationship with you because you're so pretty. You're so happy-go-lucky. You're such a good vibe. You're so grounded. You're so abundant. You're so sexy. How could they not be drawn into you? But then when you um, draw these people in, you start to show their true colors to them. You start to reveal to them that, you know, what their real problem is. And these people particularly don't like that because you break illusions. You break down a false persona. You break down a mask. You break down a false self. They don't like that because they are naturally, they're, they're drawn to you for a love affair. But when they get in your energy and see what you're really about... You can see through people. Some of you are clear sentient, clear audience. You have a lot of the clears. I was going to go on and on, but you have a lot of the clears. You help people to be free. They feel free around you. They fall self, fall away. They feel at home with you. You peel off their mask, whether they know it or not. And these people live in excess. They have a excessive life. So, and these people with the excess, the excess and romantic love affair came out. 
together. So these people don't like committing to people. They just like having secret love affairs or they like to self-medicate themselves and then go have sex or they like to, uh, what would you say? Dissociate them, dissociate from life with sex and drugs and stuff like that. So let's get into your um, deck. Clarify this romantic love affair. Why pile two? Attract these people or person. The seven of swords. Because these people are deceptive. You look like you're somebody that they can get over on. You look so, like somebody so happy, so easy, so charming. Oh, I can get over on you. This person will be a victim. I can make them a victim because your energy is so... You don't have that energy where it's like... All right, prime example. You see the energy I just showed you. Look at this girl. You see how cold she looks? Some of you, you have that energy hidden within you, but you come across like that. Again, with the Seven of Swords, this person is deceptive. So you pull in these deceptive people because they want to they wanna ride away with your peace and calm. They want to take your happy. They want to take your good old energy and leave you stuck in your head, confused and and contemplating what happened. They don't want to have they don't want you to have any clarity. They don't want you to be able to break illusions. They don't want you to be able to see their false self. And this is what they do once they get close to you. Initially when they come to you, they come into you for a relationship. They come into you because they are a groupie. They want to be in your energy. They feel like if they're in your energy, your energy can rub off on them. You see? You look really happy. These people look fake happy. You could just look at, feel the energy through the screen, you know? So you have great energy and you turn your back on these people. Some of these people, you turn your back on them and these people try to get closer and closer to you. Some of them just very excessive, want to be around you. They're very persistent. Clarify this fed up. Why does Pow 2 attract these people to them? These people have a lot of bills, a lot of concerns, a lot of, you see the nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. I said to power one, I don't see the nine of pentacles come out, but I felt that energy. Some of you could be from Atlanta. Some of you are somebody like I was telling power one, but I'm not going to bring that energy into it. Go to power one. But it, with this restless energy, it goes back to that. It goes back to you've already healed a lot of your um, issues that life have presented you with. So you are somebody, not to say you don't go through problems, but you're somebody that's very knowledgeable. You're somebody that's very grounded, somebody who focuses on their money, somebody who is like a business person. You're very serious about your foundation, and these people want your foundation. With the Seven of Pentacles, it's like they're just looking up at your foundation. It's just they're looking up at your foundation. They're looking, they're looking. Like, I want to take a peach off of that tree. I want a piece of what they got over there. Some of them seen you start from the beginning, and then they seen you start to reap the rewards of whatever you're working on or whatever um, stability you have. Some of you, you weren't stable outright for some of you, but now you are, and they want a piece of it. Clarify this true colors. Ten of Pentacles. They want your money. You see these people? There's a lot of people. It could be your family. It could be friends. Whoever these people are, they want your money. Hold on for a second. You guys went from the Seven of Pentacles, putting in the work, being an apprentice, putting in the work, to actually reaping awards, to actually having foundation and sitting pretty. All these cards that came out as Pentacles, these people want your stability. They're attracted to your stability. And then what it ends up with is the Seven of Swords. They just want to take from you. So if you got something from this, like and or subscribe. You the high priestess, you know this though. You know everything. You enlightened about this, but you're very spiritual. So I'm going off the pal three. Till next time in Tarolin. If you can hear this song, this song is about people being in a struggle, being under pressure. So these people could be people from the islands. You could be from the islands, but these people is struggling. They under pressure. Their life is not so happy go lucky as your life or as they think your life is, because everybody have struggle. So, till next time, take care. Pile 2, I was supposed to give you this angel number because I'm giving every pile this angel number because the timestamp is 111. It says, time to implement long-cherished ideas. You're on the right track towards your dreams and visions a reality. The right people, circumstances, and resources are being sent to you, sent your way. Happiness and new opportunities are at hand. Trust the process, and this is why they want to ride your coattail. Take care. Pile 3, if you pick this, crystal or if you pick this um deck this is your reading this is the red jasper so 
like and or subscribe to the reading if you get something from it shout out to my subscribers knowing oh what's popping with you and today's title is what attracted them to you if you're a visitor welcome returning visitors welcome back we're gonna jump right into it this pal goes to pal two so this cards came out in pal two same position so the reason why you attract these people because you are somebody who seem like you are a good friend you are somebody that seems very supporting. You accept people for who they are. You are somebody who like reach out to people and help them. You are somebody who can help people. You are somebody that's wise. Somebody that just looks happy-go-lucky. Some of you guys look rich, witchy, but you have a star power to you that people is just drawn to you. It says, you need engaging work that will let your talent shine. You are a natural actor or influencer and you attract fame and fortune. So these people is just drawn to you because of your, your shine. You shine very um, bright, and you your aura is very bright, and you have a, um, some of you are very spiritual. Some of you could be Aquarius or Leo. You're very strong at manifesting in life. You're very stable in life. They see you. You are somebody that looks very opulent. You are somebody that looks like you bask in luxury items. You look some, like somebody stable. Why they sidetracked it and just and, and going through things in life, drowning in their emotions, don't know up from downs, they having delays. You're busy manifesting and bringing everything you want into life that that you know they want, but they want your life basically. It says you have the power to manifest what you want by writing your intentions down and taking inspired actions to make it happen. So take that for what it's worth. If you want to manifest something, there you go. These people are drawn to you because you make them feel protected. You're very loving, you're very caring, you're very nurturing. Some of you could be Capricorns and Cancers or just water signs. You have that natural loving energy. Some of them want to drink your bath water, so they're obsessed with you. Go to power one and two for that energy. It says your hair be given. Go to power one and two for that energy. But they just see you as somebody that's very pretty, somebody that they uh, they never seen before. they never seen somebody so pretty and somebody so loving, somebody who takes care of themselves the way you do because you have self-love for this power, it seems like. It says this X with um this X plays with spell work on a low. So you have an X that's playing with spell work and on a low. This person they attracted to you. This is why they attracted to you. Your star power. It says they can please you sexually and emotion, but they are emotionally immature. So these people come to you again for your energy. You're mature. You grounded. They suck. You suck them in like a moth to a flame. It says you are mirroring this person. There lies the confusion. Some of you could be a Leo and a date an Aquarius. That's mirroring a person. You mirror to them what they need to be. This is why they're attracted to you. Clarify the stress. Why they're attracted to pal number... Whoa. You have the Four of Cups. You have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Will of Fortune on the bottom. And you have the Ten of Cups. They want what you have. You're very stable. You move slow when it comes to your stability. With these four cups, it's like some of you go into hermit mode and you drown out what, what you need to drown out with this Knight of Pentacles. You go into like research mode. You go into hibernation mode to manifest whatever you want to manifest. These people are going through struggles with this four of cups um, here. With these people like crying into the... These people missed a lot of their... Um, Blessings the universe want to bring to them. With this Wheel of Fortune here, they missed the blessings. Now they want your blessings. Like and subscribe.